Today on Mark Cuban Presents, we're going to talk to Lainey Lazari from Simple Sugars about how she used her non-stop hustle and some clever marketing to take her line of skincare products from a hobby in her mom's basement to a thriving business. My name is Lainey Lazari. I am the CEO and founder of Simple Sugars. Lainey's entrepreneurial hustle started early when, in the fourth grade, she started selling her handmade scrunchies to friends at school in order to save up enough money to buy herself an iPod. And after about probably like nine months, I finally had enough money to buy my first iPod. So technically that was my first business. But her handcrafted business sense didn't stop at scrunchies. Just a few months later, she began mixing up sugar scrubs in her mom's kitchen to help with her own sensitive skin. She gave a few of her homemade scrubs out as Christmas gifts, and the response was so positive, she knew she had a potential hit. So that same Christmas, I gave it out to everyone, and my aunt has psoriasis. She came back to me and was like, you absolutely have to keep making me this. So I started making more, and I started like giving it out to more people. And as I started realizing that people actually like liked it enough that they were asking me to buy it, I realized that it was the right opportunity to start selling it. In the early days, Lainey didn't have money for marketing, but she did have a keen sense for PR and social media. At the time, how we were primarily getting our business was doing a lot of PR. So that started like locally here in Pittsburgh with me just like pitching all of our local news. And I was really young, so I could spin it into a really interesting story and get people to write about it. And then after I'd kind of exhausted that, I decided I wanted to go bigger. I turned 16 and got my great grandmother's old car passed down to me. It was a 1999 Chevy Prism. My aunt got it painted and like decaled and like basically turned it into like this simple sugars car so I had this like really cool like piece of visual marketing and I kind of got this crazy idea that I was gonna just like drive around the country and like do pop-up events to like raise the the profile of simple sugars on a more national level so I basically planned this like six week simple sugars tour Lainey drove from Pittsburgh to LA and back stopping in 26 different cities along the way to introduce new people to simple sugars at local pop-up events and generating buzz through social media and local influencers we basically do like a demo pop-up and we have like cupcakes and free t-shirts and like free demos. What ended up coming out of the trip that was like completely unexpected was that's how Shark Tank found me. Because one of the producers from Shark Tank had kind of heard, seen like all of this buzz that we were creating through this trip and reached out to me and said like, hey, I'm a producer from Shark Tank. Would you consider applying for the show? So I started like, went online and like watched all the Shark Tank episodes and realized it was actually a huge opportunity. So I was like, yeah, of course, I'll apply to be on the show. Lainey was invited to pitch on the show, and in preparation of her episode airing, she and her employees readied $30,000 worth of product, a significant bump for a company that had just sold $80,000 in total the year before. But then her episode aired. Like, before I'm even done pitching on the show, we'd sold like $30,000 worth of stuff. By midnight that night, we hit $200,000, and then we ended up doing six fifty dollars by Monday morning. We had such a huge influx of customers that our number one goal became just turning those people into repeat buyers. We did that through initially our online newsletter, which is still like one of our most valuable marketing tools even today. The huge surge of orders due to her appearance on Shark Tank and investment from Mark served as a crash course in how to scale, quickly. And Lainey sees a lot of benefits to being able to manufacture her scrubs in-house. So it allows us to be like a lot more nimble, I guess I would say, um, when it comes to scaling because we're able to scale in such small baby steps. And it's just good. In my opinion, I really like to have that under my control. I'm also really grateful for that experience of having to scale really fast from Shark Tank because that allowed us to really know what we needed to do to scale. So anytime we've had to do that again, like it's always just a much easier step than scaling from where we were to where we had to be after Shark Tank. And we know exactly what we need to do to like scale up to the point that we need to be at. The thing about being an entrepreneur is this, it's just all to you. You know, a lot of people like to make excuses. I don't have connections. I don't have money. I don't have this. But, you know, if, if you find something that you like to do or love to do, be great at it and see if you can turn it into a business. And worst case, you're going to have fun doing what it is you love to do. And best case, you can turn it into a business. This week in Mark Cuban Company News, app developer 2020CV has released Instasaber for iOS. Now all you need to create your own AR lightsaber is a rolled up piece of paper. Just in time for your fifth viewing of The Last Jedi. Follow our Facebook show page for new episodes, and if you have a topic you'd like to know more about, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.